Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm bringing you some items I picked up at Zara, my favorite store. I have a few items that I wanna share with you. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I come up with videos every Sunday and Wednesday. My videos are usually about fashion, sometimes a little bit of luxury and lifestyle. And if you like that type of content, don't forget to hit that ring bell notification so you can be notified every single time I put up a video. Let's get started, come on. Okay, I walked into my local Zara and I picked up a few items that caught my attention. Because of where I live, we don't have a complete collection of fall items, but these are the items that I felt like I could incorporate into my wardrobe and you might be interested in taking a look at. So let's get started. The first item I wanna show you, I had seen before and I thought about it because it was a little bit more pricier than I like to spend when I go into Zara, but it's something that I was thinking about I could have now and for many, many years to come in my wardrobe. I'm planning a trip in a few months to go to New York, so I felt this item would be perfection for just walking around and perhaps, if it's possible, going into some museums because I love looking at art when I'm at um, in New York. And this blazer here is the item I am talking to you about. It kind of gives you a little bit of that Balmain vibes, but I felt that it was a little oversized and I felt I wanted to pair it with my Spank pleather leggings, which I have owned for many, many years. And if you're on the fence about these, I would say go for it. Now I'm 5'2", and when I purchased these many, many years ago, they didn't offer a shorter length, but now they do, and I'm gonna purchase it because mine is definitely showing uh, somewhere that I need to pick up a new one. So back to the blazer. It is in this beautiful like military green. I love the buttons on it. Check out these buttons. They give you six buttons and this is an oversized fit. Like I said, it has a little bit of a little pad here, shoulder pad, so that your body always looks like bigger on top, smaller on the bottom that creates a nice silhouette. And I just love the color, I love the buttons, I love the oversized vibe of it, a little bit more relaxed, but you can make it dressier with leggings. I also think like just a white tank and dark denim can make it more casual, but I'm gonna dress it up for you a little bit with my pleather leggings. And the price of this item is $129. Like for me to spend that in Zara, I have to love it, love it, love it, and I did. So I'm gonna show you that on. This is an extra small, and for reference, I'm 5'2 and 100 pounds. That's my first item. The next item is just a very basic staple in a wardrobe that everybody needs, right? I have this one in the black. If you've watched my previous Zara haul, I featured it with a pair of floral shorts, but when I saw that they had it in this beautiful tan color, it's like an ivory tan like that. This one is 20, no, 1990. It's an extra small and it is just perfection. It is something that you're gonna wear again and again. I plan to wear it under that green blazer, but I also plan to wear it just with every other item in my wardrobe because it's such an easy thing to incorporate. It's a no-brainer when it comes to your wardrobe staples, and it is feels very, very expensive. It almost feels like it has a little bit of silk. I like that it has a tiny bit of sheen to it, so it does make it dressier than if it was all cotton. It would look a little bit more casual. So loving that one, and it's a blast from the past, right? I have it in black already, so. The third 
item in my haul is this beautiful, beautiful top. Let's talk about the positives in this top. I love the buttons. These little rhinestone buttons look so beautiful, so girly. I love the shape of this top. I love this fun collar, this like bib exaggerated collar. And then I love how it's like a peplum shape, so it gives you a nice little waist. Now, what I don't like about this shirt, it is kind of like a cotton that wrinkles super easily. And even though I steam, I try to steam all of my items before I show them to you, just so you can see them at their best, right? It is difficult to steam, but I think that if I were to maybe add more time and iron it really well, it might do a little bit better, but it's just so beautiful that I could not pass it up. I see myself pairing this with a pair of black simple pants, maybe even some ballerina flats that's one option another option is just pairing it with some black croc slides that i own but i just love the simplicity but with the details right it, it's kind of like a polar opposite it is a white cotton top which is simple but then it has so many details making it super interesting and not boring to look at the price on this top is 39.90 and it is in an extra small The next item I want to share with you are these pleather shorts. Now, when I saw these, it had me stopping in my tracks because Zara made these shorts all summer, right? In a different fabric. And now they came out with the fall version, the remix. And I totally went nuts for them. And I couldn't believe the price. The price is $29.90. This is in an extra small. Now, previous falls, they have made pleather shorts but nothing like these these are so pretty with the buttons and i just see myself wearing these with high heels with over the knee boots with little booties there's so many options you can make it dressy you can make it casual with a button down shirt and some ballerina flats i just think these are beautiful and i've seen them made before by nordstrom by zara by express but never as pretty and attractive as these are i love these and immediately i grabbed them so that was my next item the next item i want to share with you is this tank top now it has this cutout situation here in the chest area now for a night out i plan to wear this with my pleather shorts that is a whole look for me right you still covered up but you have this little fun detail to your top that is so interesting. Instead of just wearing a black tank top, you have a tank top that has this detail here. Now, this was priced at $29.90. It looks totally designer. Like whoever created this, good job. So I tried it on with a regular bra and for me, it fits perfectly. I don't see bra showing in any way, but we're all different sizes. I'm very short-waisted, just so you know. And on my body frame, I was able to pull it off just with a black bra. It's a little figure uh, hugging, but I think the details are so interesting. And if you need this for just a pair of black skinny jeans and a high heel, or even a little pleather skirt, this is such an interesting top. For $29.90, this, you can't go wrong. This is it.
last item of my haul is this top here. Now, when I saw this top, I had plans for this top, right? I love, let's go with the positive. I love the floral, it's so attractive, this little pink floral here that's totally opposite of the floral on top, which is more of a fuchsia with some red and black. And I like that it's a floral that you can wear for colder weather because there's a black background to it. I love the detail of the ruching here, the asymmetrical, the plunging V, all of those details are on point. Now, I don't know if I got one that's defective, but the zipper on mine is looking a little weird. So this is an expensive top. So for Zara, this top is $65.90, and I find that to be expensive for Zara. It does come with pads here. So the shoulder pads definitely give your body more of a little shape. I love the colors. I love the shape of it. It just drapes different, I don't know, kind of awkwardly at the zipper. And I don't know, I think when I'm paying $65.90 in Zara, I kind of want perfection. So I'm going to show it to you on to see if you agree or maybe you think it's fine. But I may have picked up one that the zipper portion of it, let me show you what I mean. It kind of goes up and then down. It kind of doesn't lay smoothly on my skin, but that might just be the one that I grabbed. But other than that, it is very attractive. I plan to pair it with a pleather A-line skirt just to kind of go opposite. It's so girly and feminine, so I want to give it a little bit more edge with a pleather skirt. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let's try it all on. Let's go. If you've come this far in my video, don't forget, leave me a comment. Let me know out of all of the items that I picked up today, which one was your favorite item? Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday with me. Bye.